Hello students, welcome to Pine Monk. Today's topic is human brain. So my dear students, firstly, we should do warm up for our eyes. So please close your eyes slowly and then open your eyes slowly. Very good. There is nothing to worry. The thing that you should observe human brain for 5 minutes. Okay. Before we draw, we need to observe the angle of the human brain. Yes, it's rectangle, right students? Very good. If you can understand this, then you can draw very easily. And one more thing. Do observe where is the cerebrum. Where is the spinal cord and midbrain and other parts of the human brain? So do observe properly so that you can remember it. So dear students, now let us learn how to draw the human brain in very easy steps. So students, materials required, drawing sheets, black marker, Pencil, eraser and scale. So let's start drawing by making a plus shape like this and let's make a box surrounded it with the mentioned centimeters. I'm going to draw an outer line first. And then draw one more membrane of the brain so keep little distance with both the brains okay students now Now make one more outer line that is skull which protects the brain. Now we are going to draw the inner parts of the brain. It's called as corpus. Here in the brain we can see some of the little parts. At the end we can see the spinal cord which connects the brain Now you are drawing cerebellum which is nerves in shape which connects all the nerves to brain
now we are drawing lobes in brain we can see some of the lobes that is frontal lobe and occipital lobe here we are drawing the same lobes here so be patient and draw neatly So now I'm going to use a black marker to brighten up the diagram. Here in the examination you're not going to use the pens. You're going to use only pencils. For your information I'm going to use black marker here only to brighten up the diagram. So dear students don't use markers or pens use only pencils and draw neatly it can help you to score good marks in the examination don't mess up with the parts If you understand you can easily recognize all the parts be quick so now it's time to label so students this part is called as cerebrum and this is called as cranium memorize all the parts this is called as midbrain this part plays a major role in brain it's called cerebellum and then this is pons this is called as spinal cord and this is hypothalamus and this is called as pituitary gland and this is last medulla So here is your full diagram. So students practice each diagram for 10 times and get 100% result in the exam. 
Thank you for watching the video. Happy learning!